Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions over the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you what is N slash query module, right? This module is used for SQL query. It is very similar to query language, very similar to SQL query. And then the syntax are different. The main thing, the main difference is syntax is different. Now, let me show you this. Now, see, I have written a function here inside the page in it for easy understanding. First of all, my customer query, I have taken one variable that my customer query, query dot create. Here we have to add n slash query module first. Then we have to create here one variable that is query dot create and then type is customers sales order form. Now, what is customer sales order form? Let me show you. Here is here is the ID of our customer sales order form. Let me show you control F sales. Yes, here it is. Customer sales order form. This I have copied here. Right. After that, we have taken one condition. First is first condition is my customer query dot create condition where field ID is name operator colon query dot operator contain David. For example, let me show you here the list where name here is the ID where the name contains David, right? Now name contains David. That means we are having three records where the name is David. After that, value is David contain contain you can add is not not there are so many conditions there inside SQL. So here we have taken contain value equal to David. Now my customer query dot condition equal to my customer query dot end and first condition. First condition is this extract all those rows where the name contains David. Like this. Now you can add like this also or copy this complete here in place of this. This is another way to write, right? Then come to the next line. My customer query columns. Now, how, uh, which columns do you want to extract? For example, I want to extract name, warehouse location and customer sales rep. Let me show you this. Name, warehouse location is New Jersey and the sales rep is David Johnson. I want to extract these things here. Suppose David record, David record here, David William Johnson. This is a sales rep name and here is the warehouse name. Now let's see here the code inside the code. Here I have defined the rows, the columns that I want to extract, right? Russ, yes. After that, MySQL custom query equal to MySQL query dot to suite SQL. This is the function that you have to add here to suite QL. Then result set, we will receive the result set MySQL customer query dot run. We have, we are running this query, right? After that results equal to results sets dot results. We have taken all the results into a variable results. Now log dot debug number of record. First of all, we need to know the number of records. So results dot length. Then for variable i results dot length, i is greater than or equal to zero, i minus minus. Log dot debug results dot value. And I have written all these things in the page in it, right? Now let's see here. I have taken here sales order form inside this. Now when I will press this button, the page in it command will be executed. Let's start this page in it executed. Now go to the script. Now this is our script SQL demo and it is deployed on sales order form. So now let's see the execution log here. David record, David record, David record, New Jersey, New Jersey, Hong Kong and David Clark. Now let's check whether the data is coming correct. 
David Record, David Record. Now see here, Hong Kong, David William, New Jersey, David Johnson, New Jersey, David Clark. Now see here, this is the name, this is the sales rep name, oh, sorry, warehouse location name, and this is the sales rep name. So in this way, three records are fetched. Details, number of records are three. See here, our number of records are three. The name where that contains David. So here we have taken out three values. Now, similarly, we have taken out these values. Now we can either we can do any operation on these values or we can save it in other uh, record. Similarly, we can add more than one condition also that we will cover in our next session in our next video. So I recommend you to practice this and end slash query module and uh, uh, write down your uh, doubts and queries in the comment box. I will try to resolve your query and uh, till then we will uh, see in our next session, we will see some other queries, how to add more conditions. So do subscribe my video and thanks for watching the video. Thank you.